Hi, Salaam Alaikum. My name's Susan and I've been asked to talk about what Ramadan means to me. Um, for me, I think Ramadan is like the ultimate reset button. Um, you know, when I talk to non-Muslims about Ramadan, they often just seem so horrified. What do you mean you can't eat for a whole month, you know, from before sunrise till after sunset? And then their second question is also, not even water? Like there's just shock and horror. that It sounds so hard and so unpleasant. How can you survive it? Um, but not only do Muslims survive it, but we actually enjoy it and get a lot of benefit out of it. You know, we live in a society where um, everything's about instant gratification and not feeling any pain or discomfort. You know, if you have a headache, you have a, a tablet straight away. If you want something, you buy it. You don't put off anything. Um, Ramadan is like the ultimate exercise in delayed gratification, which is actually really important for our psychological and spiritual growth, but we don't really have much opportunity for in this day and age. Um, so it can be hard, you know, you do get hungry or you do get tired, but that's actually okay because you do it and you realize, well, I can do that. Um, and through, it's through those difficulties and those challenges that we become better people because we realize if I can be polite and kind and gentle and loving to the people around me when I'm really hungry and really tired and haven't had enough coffee, how much easier should it be for me for the rest of my life, the rest of the time during the year when I'm not fasting? You know, when I fast, I often feel really emptied out. I feel um, totally depleted. Um, you know, there's no food inside of me. There's nothing often. I'm really tired. Um, and it's when we feel most emptied out that we create this space for God. Ramadan creates a space for us to bring more of the divine into our lives. Um, and it shows me when I'm really hungry, how I've actually been starving my soul all this time. For the rest of the year, how much I've been ignoring nourishing my soul. I've been busy feeding my body and my mind. But what about my soul? Ramadan is the time when our soul feasts. Um, so fasting is a challenge. I'm not going to say I find it easy. I find it really hard. It's probably the hardest part about being Muslim for me is, is fasting. But then that's where the growth is. So it's hard, but I love it.